Welcome to this journey world. Today I'll be sharing how I did these glitter encapsulated Jalex nails. So if that's something that you're interested in, then continue watching. So I'm starting with my hands already prepped, push back my cuticles, stuff like that. And the first thing I'm going to do is do the two encapsulated nails. So for that, I'm using these flowers that I picked up off of, I believe it was AliExpress or Shein. This glitter I got from my Jalen Gel Extension Kit and this glitter I got from AliExpress. These nails I also got from AliExpress. I don't really like these nails, but we were already here and I was going to use it. Now, the only thing I didn't like about these flowers is that I thought that they were going to be softer than they were. So they were kind of like a kind of hard cardboard. So it was a bit difficult to get into the grooves. But anyway, what I'm doing is I'm going with a thin layer of the base coat on the inside of the nail. And then I'm going to apply the flowers and the glitter, you know, how it looks good. So once I felt the flower and I felt how hard it was, I was a bit disappointed. I was really expecting that it would be softer than that. I just placed it in the nail and there you can see me kind of struggling to get it flat because of how hard it was it was not curving or conforming to the shape I wanted and I was just checking the other side to see because if it's not completely flat on the nail it's gonna look kind of weird so that was my little predicament what I tried to do was cure the gel a bit and then try to press it down but I left it in here a little too long so the gel kind of got hard on me <laughs> there you see kind of sticks in my fingers so it was hard for sure it cured a bit so I couldn't press it down any further so when I looked at it from the front I was seeing that little gap there but I decided to move on and place a nice little leaf going in with some more base coat because it was a bit dry and here I was thinking that if it got a little more drenched in the base coat that it will help it conform but y'all these little flowers were hard going in with another flower and always just turn it around to see like if the placement is good is it looking good with the placement should you move it around so that's what I was doing but once the pressure was applied it was looking good because it was flat down so once I'm happy with the placement I went ahead and cured it could see well I don't know if you could see but the purple one definitely was not <laughs> like as flat as I wanted it to be this um, glitter thing gave me some trouble to open um, I don't know what they call this but it was different colors of the iridescent kind of glitter pieces I don't know what to call it so it wasn't glitter glitter um, but yeah because the gel was still tacky I just took some pieces and placed it and I, you always keep turning around the nail to see like is it giving the desired effect is it looking how you want it to look um, and where you should place it because the main thing you want to see the front while you're working with the back of it you still want to look at the front to see how it's looking and I'm so sorry <laughs> with some of the clips that were out of focus but you can kind of see I'm still getting that kind of iridescent look that I was going for. And the brush I'm using is just a flat brush um, from my nail, nail art, well, nail brush set. Y'all can see a girl was struggling to continuously hold the nail in her hand. Right. I think I was happy with how the iridescent pieces were looking and then I wanted to include some of the glitter too. I was just placing it on spaces that were looking a bit empty and of course turning it around to see how it's looking, where do I need to fill in, where do I need to focus on. And I don't know if the light is blocking it but I was... I was feeling pretty good. I was feeling pretty happy with, with how the nail was turning out. Again, once I was happy, I went ahead and put some of the base coat so that I could like keep everything in. 
um, because this is kind of one of my main polishes um, I tried to make sure that the glitter stayed in. This is how the nail is looking and this is the second nail that I did I went ahead and did off camera um, They both look a bit different because of how much glitter I placed in each but I really 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 like how the one on the left came out I like both but I really like how the one on the left came out Are we happy with that? Now it's to go ahead and place the nails on my finger. Um, I go go in with the dehydrator as well as the primer before I start my nails. And these came with the gel and gel extension kit. Um, if you're new, you can check out my previous videos to see if you want to see the unboxing, some of the new things that I got from Amazon. Then I also have two other videos where I show the process of doing the gel nails. Now it's time to actually apply the nail so this is the extender gel or the builder gel so you place some in the nail now part of what I didn't really like with this nail is it's a bit more concave for my nail so I had to use like a bit extra gel that I'm accustomed using so I had to get accustomed to that you see me struggle with the placement here a bit to move around the gel because I was seeing some bubbles but once you're comfortable go ahead and cure it and what I tried to do in this video it's a bit more lengthy I didn't speed it up um, but just to show you all the process um, and the mistakes that you can actually go through while doing the JADX nails also something that I learned <laughs> well figured out with the encapsulation I should go for a bigger size because although the nail fits before once I did the encapsulation from that side it could not fit on my ring finger again so I switched my um, index finger and my ring finger so that's why I'm just putting a regular nail on this finger I think I had to a little too much gel so I was wiping off a bit from the tip and what happens sometimes if you can see some of the gel squirting out there a bit what I do I'll just like do like a quick two second cure and before it cures fully I'll just pull it out and scrape off the gel from the sides of my cuticles exhibit A Now we're on to the index finger which is the encapsulated nail and this was a bit difficult because the gel is clear and because the nail had a pattern in it I couldn't really see how much gel I was putting or how thick it was so once I place it you will see that there was some extra gel on my hands and also I think because it was not flat on the inside it did not apply evenly so you'll see what I'm talking about shortly So there was all that gel oozing out so I wiped off some of it. Try it again. And usually I look to see how the gel is um, layering up or rolling up my um, nail bed so I could tell but because it has a pattern I couldn't really tell. What I'm doing here is when I was looking at the nail afterwards I realized that there was a gap between my finger and the um, extension so I just tried to fill the gap so I wouldn't have any water going under my nail and forming any fungus or anything from it being um, from moisture being sealed getting trapped under there so I was just trying to seal up the hole so yeah no moisture could get in.
so this is how it's looking oh my gosh i was really happy with that encapsulated nail but i wasn't going to do the drama to do more nails because that took me some time Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I went ahead and did the other hand off camera and I went ahead and got my electric file and what I'm doing here is one um, roughening the nail itself because I think they say that helps the gel and the polish adhere better to the nails but also cleaning up my cuticle area for any of the gel that spills over and trying to also get the cuticle area a bit flatter so once it starts to go out it's not going to look as pronounced as you know what happens with like when you do press on nails so this is the first time I'm trying this technique I can't say if it fully worked for some of my nails it worked better than others <laughs> so it's a technique that I'll have to perfect but I would say that it did make a difference. My right hand is always most difficult because obviously I'm a, a right hander so when it comes to my right hand don't judge me okay don't judge my results based on my right hand. Now that that is finished, it's time to move on to the nail design and <laughs> I was just looking at my nails wondering what design I wanted to do. Initially when I started I wanted to do like a full inspiration type nails. So I wanted to do like a dark or uh, like a forest green with a deep purple or something along those lines. But then when I checked on my nails side collection I realized I only had like pastel colors and um, spring kind of related colors. So. I I said let me start with <laughs> I said let me start with placing the top coats on the encapsulated nails so that's what you see me doing here and I was just trying to admire the beauty to see if I liked it. Beautiful. Right, and just trying to show the difference between the top coats and the nail without the top coats. But what I realized is that this white flower, the white flower on this nail was looking a bit dim because it was not 100% um, concaved or touching the top of the nail. So there's a gap between the flower and the nail, if you understand what I'm saying. So it's not as close to the nail as it could be. So I don't think it looked as neat as the other hand. And all this time here, I'm just thinking about what to do, what to do, what design to do, what will pull this look together.
and trying to find a design and because I so wanted to have this encapsulation on my ring finger I decided to attempt to do the encapsulation from the top versus the other way that I just did it and I tried to incorporate a bit more of the iridescent um, pieces so again I just applied the base coat to make it a bit tacky and then I just went ahead and used the flat brush to like dip some of the um, pieces and tap it onto my nail. I was not a hundred percent happy with the placement but it still looked good for my first time trying. Being semi happy I went ahead and cured that and yeah I was still thinking about what to do so what I did on my pinky and my thumb I did a plain purple and then on my middle finger I did a French <laughs> A French color but just with the plain color I think it was looking a bit too lame so I just decided to line it with a darker purple so there I say mm, looking a bit too plain it wasn't popping it wasn't popping here I'm just doing my pinky and my thumb in the plain purple And this is what I came up with. Don't mind your ring finger, that was like a huge experiment. <laughs> but this is the entire set. Tell me how you think it came out. As I said, I didn't have like any inspiration per se. I just knew I wanted to do the encapsulated nails and then I just worked around it to find something that would work. So let me know what you guys think and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out my other new videos, feel free to check us out. It's linked up in the cards. And if you want to check out any of my other videos of me navigating life in Milan, Italy, also links below in the description and in the cards. And until next time, see ya!